Hallelujah. Change your power to God. Amen. God is good, people. Amen. You know, uh, sometimes I think I, I think I had it hard, but you know what, brother? I hear other people going through things, went through things, and I say, wow, you know, God is good. Amen. Uh, before we go, before go any further, uh, I wanna ask the visitors if you can please stand up, you know, so that we can give you a welcome. Amen. If it's your first time in the church, amen. If you visitors, amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. I mean, I think that's a George family. Amen. And it's a special day for George today. Amen. So we'll get to that later on. Amen. There's another testimony, amen, about the changing power of Jesus, and we're going to call Sister Lisa, amen? amen. Give it to the Lord, people. Welcome, Sister. Amen. Thank you. God bless everyone here. So uh, wonderful to be in the house of the Lord. It's always good to be in the house of the Lord. God bless you, everyone. Um, thank you, Pastor. Um, to everyone, it's so good to see you. Um, just here. Wow, I think we're all here to glorify and exalt the holy name of Jesus, right? We all have testimonies for His glory. And the Word of God says, 
also let your light so shine before men, so they will see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Glory, hallelujah. My testimony is a little bit of, uh, similar to, to the brother that was... Brother George. Brother George, happy birthday. Ah, happy birthday. <laughs> amen, amen. And so we know that the enemy doesn't discriminate, right? We know that he doesn't care. He starts even before... You know, we are born actually from our mother's womb. He's already making plans in hell. You know, he's got his plans and he's got his demons and he's set. So mine started when I was very, very young. I was, thank the Lord that he's always had his hands on us. That's why we're here today, right? We have a purpose in our lives. And so um, so I guess I was about eight years old when I started, started drinking. Um, to tell you the truth, Mostly after that, my mother abandoned me, my father, I didn't know them, and I was always in the street. So I lived in the street. I didn't go to school. I was very, um, I was always by myself from the alcohol. By the time I was 13, I was just um, a total, um, complete alcoholic. And, and I mean, I didn't just drink one or two beers. I drank out of bottles. I stole for it, you know. Um, and God is so good because I've had so many days and years and nights that I don't even remember. I can't remember because I was block, I, I, I blacked out. So a lot of my my younger days, I don't remember. But thank the Lord that we, we have a new start. God is a God Amen. of restoration. God is a God who heals and transforms. He's not a partial God. He loves us all the same. Um, from the alcohol, I went into drug addiction. And the drug addiction took me even further into the streets, into prostitution. Um, and, you know, I, I didn't work. I washed windows and did whatever I had to do to support my habit. And that went on for about 30-something years. So for a total, it was about 44 years in drug addiction and alcoholism. In the streets, I slept outside, behind stores, wherever I could lay my head. And so, you know, we, we know that the enemy's here to kill, steal, and destroy. But we also know that God has plans for us. And I was always in um, the state of mind where I got comfortable when I was out there. I thought that was the norm, that that's all there was for me. And But something deep down inside of me said, this, this can't be all. Because if this is all, I just want to die. I, I don't want this anymore. I had a really rough life, which I'm sure a lot of you have. I've been shot at, beaten, raped, you name it. And so, but the Lord always, I can I can see now always that the Lord had his hands on me. He always had his hands on me. So I, I call it on the name of Jesus. And, you know, the testimony is very deep, but I don't have time. But the time that I do have is to come and glorify, to let you know where God has taken me from and where he's brought me to. It's been a short four and a half years that I gave my life to Christ. I was 54. I'll be 59 this year, this month, right? All I know are these are the best days of my life. These are the best days of our lives. There's nothing impossible for God. God is a God of a healer. He healed my wounds. There's wounds that I never thought would go away. He's healed them. He, he took them away. I have no, no hate, no resentment. I don't have it. It's not there. I gave it to the Lord because I knew that he would heal me. If he took me the same night that I called on the name of Jesus uh, in the streets, he delivered me just like that, just like that, 44 years, drug addict, alcohol, cigarettes, everything, just like that, but then, then, then he started, it began to mold me, you know how he starts to do a good work in us, right, Amen. so he starts to do that work, and I just have to say that it hasn't always been that easy, because he didn't promise us that we wouldn't have afflictions and tribulations and trials, he told us to, 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 to glorify in them to rejoice in those things because he's going to bring it to pass. He's we're, he's going to bring bring us through no matter what that is. So I just came to give you all hope and to let you know, I, I mean, God is 44 years. And these are the best days of my life. These are the best days of our lives. We're here. Even through all the, the violence and everything that we're going through now in this day and age, this is written. This shouldn't be a surprise to any of us Christians. We know it's coming. We, we know it's written. So it's also written, God said that I have the plans for, I know the plans that I have for you, for good, not of evil, for a future and a hope. He has a future and a hope for all of us. Don't give up. Go forward. Go forward. When the enemy comes, just just, just go to your knees. If you can't get to your knees, just, 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 he knows our heart. 
Just tell him, Lord, I need you. And start praising him. And all those negative feelings and all those negative thoughts, they're going to go away. They're going to know because when we humble ourselves before the Lord, he lifts us up. He will take it away. And, and that's the key right there for me. I just get to praise the Lord and I just say, Father, I can't do this, Lord. I need you. We're going through it, right? Our character and our, our, our lives, the way we are, it doesn't change. God does the transformation. He does it. But we have to do our part, too. We have to surrender. So I'm just saying, you know what? Don't give up. Go forward. He loves us all and he loves us all the same. And um, we're in victory. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Powerful testimonies. Amen. We have a we have a sister who's gonna make a dance amen tonight, amen for our Lord Jesus. But we're gonna clear up the floor, the floor real quick, amen. Brother Mike, please, and then we.